Ugh, I'm so bored. I wish there was something I could do. Ugh. Oh, look, there's my dad. Maybe he could tell me, like, a story or something. Dad, 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 dad. What? Oh, it's you. Dad, I'm bored. Can you tell me a story? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, so a long time ago, this area looked a lot more like that area. I was a young lad. I was just chilling, hanging out. I looked a lot like you, except I didn't have your annoying voice. And then I found it. A beautiful forest. Wow, this is beautiful. Huh. The flowers, the wood, the bushes. It was all just so perfect. The one thing stood out to me the most. The leaves. The leaves. They're so soft and comforting. I should make clothing out of these. So I started like beating it up, you know, like Minecraft style. But then something happened. I'll never forget that creature. The Lorax. I am the Lorax. I speak for the trees. I was in awe about the creature that I just witnessed. I'd never seen anything like it before. For the trees cannot talk, they say, don't come down, please. I was so young, so foolish back then, and I said, Honestly, sounds like a skill issue on their part. And I wandered off into the forest to continue my pursuit. I took one of the perfectly good leaves, and I went to go make what I called a thneed. I believe to myself, everybody needs a thneed. A thneed is just what you need. Don't have a bib? Don't worry, thneed's got you covered. And obviously my project took off. Who wouldn't want to look as stashing as I did? But then the Lorax said, Remember, you don't need a thneed. I ignored him. That's when the true darkness began. If everybody needs a thneed, well, one thneed won't do the world justice. That's when I decided to chop down the forest. Went from being the trees with hands to being the trees with sticks. Thneed after thneed after thneed. It was all gone. I was just thinking to myself, how bad could I possibly be? Eventually, I continued to grow, because I needed more business. So I ended up hiring employees. And I watched my empire grow and bigger. You must stop, said the Lorax. Look at this, this thing. Tell me it's healthy. I don't care if it's healthy or not. All I care about is making money. Yup, I remember it all like yesterday. Uh, uh, Dad, uh, didn't this all happen at Grass events? Well, well, well uh, uh, the flashbacks are easier when it looks like the area. I'm starting to get the feeling that you didn't actually do all of this and rather you just stole this from a child's book author because you don't know what story to tell me because I just came up and randomly asked you to tell me a story and you were just trying to enjoy a peaceful walk. I can neither confirm nor deny that. Anyways, the Lorax tried stopping my employees as well. You guys, this is bad. You should be saving the trees, not killing them. We, we speak, speak for, for the coin, they said. The Lorax is extremely disappointed. But as time went on, things got even worse. I began to grow up and I kept saying, We must keep biggering and biggering and biggering. The once luscious forest was now turning into mud and a few bushes. How bad can I be, I said, until...
the last truffle leaf had fallen. My employees all left. The Koopas went off to get more rich. Kamek went off to become a famous game show host and icon. A and Boo, uh, I I'm not exactly sure what happened to Boo, but I'm sure he's out there somewhere. All that was left was me and the Lorax. And his next words still scorch my soul to this day. Unless someone does anything about this mess, nothing's ever gonna get better. Then he ascended into the sky. And that was the last time I ever saw the Lorax. Are you talking about the Dr. Seuss book? Or the Dr. Seuss film? Or the Illumination film? Or the story that just like everybody knows? What did, did, did they steal from me? Did you steal from them? Well, uh, I never said it was nonfiction anyways, um, uh, bye. <sighs> I'm bored again. Eh. 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 Just subscribe already.